Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to another lecture. This is lesson six, it is all about cancer. Uh, you can see the key points above me, uh, rapid growth, the causes of cancer, what is a tumor, and some treatments. Um, you'll get all that as we go through. Uh, this lesson is a little bit different than the previous ones. All the notes are given to you. Uh, I'm going to go through them. Uh, I'm going to talk about them, point out specific parts. All you really need to do is maybe highlight here, underline here, add a note here when you uh, see something interesting, uh, and just keep up and follow along as we go through. Um, the assignment is um, taking what we've talked about and what's in your notes and just kind of reinforcing that by answering a few questions. Um, cancer is a very complicated topic, uh, so let's just get into some of the basics um, here. So cancer is essentially mitosis gone wrong, and you've got all this in your document. Um, so what is cancer? Cancer is the uncontrolled growth and division of cells. So cells just continually divide and keep growing and dividing. There's no checkpoint to stop it. There's nothing saying like, oh man, I've got too many arm cells going right now. Um, I don't need any more. Uh, this means that there's a malfunction somewhere. Uh, and the cell usually spends most the cell usually spends most of its time in interphase, but when a cancer cell uh, gets going, it spends very little of its time uh, in interphase, and it gets very rapid growth, rapid cell division. So how are these cells um, different than regular cells? Um, cancer cells behave differently than normal functioning cells. Uh, this also means that they likely have different physical characteristics. So there's some traits here given in each dot. Um, that cancer cells uh, are more likely to have. So they're, they spend less time in interphase, they have uncontrolled mitosis, they do not stop dividing, they just keep dividing and dividing and dividing. Uh, they grow faster than normal cells, uh, they can break away from groups of cells and travel to other places in the body, that's not something that happens in a regular cell. Uh, and they have different physical structures that allow them to grip and grab onto other cells and tissues, making them kind of invasive. Uh, so they are very, very um, annoying, rapidly growing, uh, invasive cells. That's what cancer cells are. Regular cells spend most of their time just plugging away, doing their job, doing their thing. Oh, I've got to replicate. Um, okay, sounds good. Uh, it does that, and then it spends most of its time, again, doing its job. That is not the case with cancer cells. Cancer cells are just rapid, rapid growth. Um, so what are some causes? There are many, many causes of cancer. Some of them uh, may be genetic. Some of them may have um, something to do with exposures. If you've um, smoked or uh, if you've been exposed to uh, radiation. Um, but what essentially happens is cells in DNA become mutated. Um, mutated cells may not be normal uh, and they develop an incorrect cycle of mitosis to reproduce at a high rate uh, essentially potentially causing cancer in a tumor. Uh, so things like chemicals can cause mutations, ultraviolet light, uh, like from the sun can cause mutations and you get skin cancer, uh, UV light, viruses, an example is the HPV virus which is known to cause cervical cancer. Uh, so if you get this virus it essentially causes mutations in the uh, lining of your cervix and uh, those cells generally reproduce um, reasonably quickly. Uh, so it is very common to get cancer uh, if you have the HPV virus. We have vaccines against that now to protect people, uh, and that is great, uh, it's something to be aware of. Um, the x-rays can cause cancer um, because they are radiation. Um, and some people, uh, sometimes genetics can cause cancer if you're just born with that problem. Uh, it's nobody's fault, just kind of happens. Uh, cancer can sometimes run in the family. You can be more genetically disposed to getting cancer. Uh, so it's always good to look into your family tree and kind of take precautions or look at places where you can take precautions um, to prevent that. Uh, we're getting into key point three, which is the tumor. So what is a tumor? Um, a tumor is a cluster of cells um, that is going through uncontrolled mitosis. You can have two types of tumors, benign 
Um, these are cells that do not migrate um, to other parts of the body and don't really harm anything. They're just there taking up space, which in itself is not good, um, but uh, they are less dangerous than malignant tumors. Malignant tumors can migrate to other parts of the body, causing, other, causing the cancer cells to spread and causing a whole lot more damage. So when a tumor or cancer cells have spread from their original source, this is called metastasis uh, or metastasizing. It's a, kind of a hard word. Um, essentially, malignant tumors can spread. Um, what you see below that, um, it gives information of how a regular mole might look um, and what might uh, melanoma look like, which is cancer in the skin. Um, so a sign might be asymmetry, where it's not perfectly round. Uh, the border might not be completely clear or might be kind of ragged. Um, when the color of the mole is not completely the same throughout, that can be a problem. Uh, and when it is larger than the diameter of a pencil eraser, that can also be a problem. So um, knowing what your moles look like uh, and keeping track of them, making sure they're not changing is really, really important. It's something people do all the time uh, to keep their skin healthy. Staying out of the sun, not letting yourself burn, wearing sunscreen and hats and sunglasses, all really good stuff to help prevent this kind of thing uh, from happening. Um, if you get cancer, how can it be treated? That's key point four. Um, each cancer is different, so treatments vary from person to person. Uh, your doctor will tell you exactly what's right for you. Um, but often there's a biopsy, so you can kind of go in there, grab a piece of it and see uh, if it's benign or malignant, uh, what type of cancer it is, and if more aggressive measures need to be taken. Uh, you can do radiation, um, which is to try to shrink the uh, size of a tumor, and that's actually what my cousin does for a living. She uh, is a radiation therapist. Um, you can have chemotherapy, which is an injection to uh, essentially kill the re rapidly reproducing cells. Um, Sometimes it can be known, essentially a poison and it affects other cells as well. Um, so it is very, very toxic and is hard to take, um, especially if you're weak already. Uh, the last type of treatment could be surgery, um, where um, you actually go in and you remove that tumor. So uh, I hope I was able to give you a good overview of what cancer is. Um, definitely read this more in detail, highlight the important parts, underline the important parts, uh, and move on to the questions that are below. So your job is to complete the mitosis gone wrong uh, study sheet. Uh, follow along and make sure that you are uh, familiar with especially the four key points, um, rapid growth in cancer, the causes of cancer, uh, what a tumor is and some treatments uh, as we have a quiz coming up after you're done. So after you're done that, let me know and you can have the quiz. Um, if you have any questions, definitely let me know and I'll see you in class. Thanks.